Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is multi capsule trace for objects? Let's go ahead and look at the node, and it's very similar to the normal capsule trace for objects node. Actually, the only difference you're going to find is instead of outputting one individual hit, we're going to get an array of hit results. And this one's pretty simple. This is going to be a list of hits sorted along the trace from the start to finish. And if there is a blocking hit, it will be the last one. Unlike the by channel, which goes along the um, overlap portion of our collision, because we're tracing by object type, and it's going to have an object type as a, a, a type, basically. If it hits something of that object type, it's going to return it back into our array. Let me go and run this and show you what I'm talking about. This is our example node right here. It's firing out a capsule trace, and there's the endpoint right there. And actually, you can see no green. It's not hitting anything. In this example, because it looks like a sphere, I'm using the same radius and height. Let's adjust this to 100, 150, and 100. And let's go ahead and add in a new object type. Right now it's set to pawn, which means only if I walk into it am I going to get a result. And you can see that here. We have two. We have myself and then my collision radius. They're both set as pawns. If I was to change this to something else, like let's, re let's go ahead and change this to world static and hit play. And now you notice we have two results and my player doesn't block it. We have this wall here, which is set to static, and you can see it hitting. And then behind that, we have another wall, which you can see is static. And you can actually see the collision volume stopping there because that is our last hit. If we had another hit after that, it would go even farther. And of course, since it's an array of object types, we can add in another one. So I could, for example, in this case, put in myself again. And you'll see it's going to go ahead and show me as two more but it's still going to continue until it hits the final point, which is this backing wall. Because I've told it to trace for both static and pawn types of objects. It's going to return back an array and a return value. This is whether or not it hit anything or not. And the array is going to consist of everything inside of it. In this case, it had four items. If I was to go ahead and just simply get the first one and tell it to print out the name, you'll see it's the backing wall. And it's going to be that one right there. If I go here, you'll see it's now hitting the generic character. Or back to the backing wall, or the generic character. So that's it. The multi capsule trace for objects is very simple. It is basically the normal capsule trace for objects node, except it's going to return back everything between the start and the end that counts as an object type and return it back in an array of hit results. And with that, we're going to wrap up our multi-capsule trace for objects node.